there are people that have certain personality types that aren't right. really good with people when they get they have right. to deal with them because they have to and then at the yeah. end of the day they want to try and wipe them all off of them yeah. and those tend to be a little bit more transactional um, yeah. the the thing i never understood about the uh, people that do not commit to the relational uh, uh, relationship <laughs> is that you're going to end up getting more business from that and you're going to all, always going to get warm leads because these people felt really good about you helping them and they really believed you helped them. You, you think they're not going to tell other people uh, about your services? Yeah. And that's the thing is, is like the people we actually get the most referrals from are the people that we don't ever do business with. That's a little secret. Most people don't understand. It's it, because when you really like, I mean, it's easy for us to come to the conclusion that the strategy that they need is something that we can help them with and we make money. Well, of course we're going to be happy about that. What's a lot harder as a business owner is when you know the person sitting across from you really needs a different strategy than you can profit from. And then you just straight up tell them that, but that's the difference between there's always going to be short-term people and long-term people in every business and every industry. And um, because short-term feels better and it's more exciting and, I don't know why people, I mean, you would never eat a burger if you're really, I mean, that's not good for you, but people do it short term versus long term. You know, I always say it's, you know, hard choices now, easy choices later, where, where on the converse, it's, you know, easy choices now, hard choices later. And so if you're going to be in real estate for a while, if you only had to do real estate for a couple of years and just crush it with your straight build hat and it's so <laughs> fake and you're, and you're appealing to these buyers that will, you know, these people who are going to these buyers, like, I don't know about you, but like for me, seniors, I've noticed they're slow to trust because so many people are trying to come at them with stuff. But when they do sure. trust you, they're extremely loyal. They're not right. going to sell you out for a hundred bucks or a thousand bucks or $10,000 difference. And so being transactional in our business, it, it's not going to work because you're going to get, you're trying to fight a price war with wall street that you can't win. Like right now in your city, there's hundreds of people that have a smartphone and they upload pictures of their house and they're getting an offer for their house, all cash for 20, 30, $50,000 more than you could ever pay in a million years. So do you think that that kind of technology, you know, Jeff Bezos said, it's really hard to tell what's going to change in the, in the next five or 10 years. Cause the, the future is uncertain. What's easier to predict is what's not going to change. Well, here's what we're betting on. What's not going to change is the fastest growing demographic in our country by far by a landslide is going to be seniors. What's not going to change is Wall Street's appetite to buy these single family homes because the returns are good. And what's not going to change is their ability to pay more than a regular local person and push out every transactional real estate person pretty soon the real estate agent is going to be like the taxi cab driver and they're going to get totally pushed out. Cause why would somebody pay them 3% if, if they can go on Redfin and get 1% deal? Well, I'll tell you why it goes back to what I said earlier, because every, in every single market, there's always a group of people that are willing to pay more to have a trusted guide, help them walk through a complicated situation. That will be the last, piece of the business that is left for people to participate in. So they can either figure it out now, figure it out never, or, um, you know, start to consider the idea. And that's really, that's really all there is. There's not really a ton of options at this point. 